my next stop brings me to Verona. They're located at 1871 on Hall Street. Family owned and operated business specializing in traditional Latin food, specifically Mexican and Venezuela. So let's check out what I got. So first up is the empanada. I went with the 16 hour braised beef and it comes with the traditional Venezuelan tartar sauce. Let's dig in. All right, so this thing is pretty big and pretty heavy, decent size. I lift things up and put them down. So I got the 16 hour braised beef and it comes with some black beans and there's plantain in there as well. Smells great. Wow. <laughs> the braised beef is nice and tender, lots of flavor. Let's try it with the tartar sauce. That tartar sauce is great. Oh, it's got a nice tank to it. That's really good. Plantain adds a nice touch to it. This is excellent, so good. So next we have the tacos. I went with the 16 hour braised beef and the chicken tikka. There's some cilantro, some onions in there, and we got some pico de gallo. This looks amazing. Let's dig in. Definitely add some lime. So these guys have been here for about eight years and I've never known about them. So that's one of the great things about doing what I'm doing is I'm discovering lots of great restaurants here in Halifax. Chicken tikka. Oh, that's gonna drip everywhere. Chicken is nice and tender. Such a great flavor. I like that. Try it with the pico. Mm. Wow. This is so freaking good. So when I told him it was all for me, he gave me quite a stare. Next one is the braised beef. Try it without the pico. Nice and tender. This is braised over 16 hours. So you can expect the beef to be pretty tender. He ain't lying. And it is. What a great flavor. Mm. They have a great menu. They actually serve breakfast there as well. So next up is what's called the Patagon. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but uh, he said for my first time there, I definitely had to check this out. It is a traditional South American sandwich, a two thin crust plantain, pico de gallo, Venezuelan tartar sauce, and queso de fresco. This looks amazing. Let's dig in. Get in my belly! So like I said, I asked him what he recommended being my first time there, and without skipping a beat, this is what he recommended. I don't have a knife and fork. I should have started with this. It's gotten a little soggy on the bottom. So two thinly sliced uh, plantains is what it's sandwiched in. So for those who don't know what plantains are, pretty much like a banana, but a little different. And they are toasted or fried with a cinnamon uh, sugar. That's where you're gonna get the golden brown. This is going to be an absolute mess. Just look at that. Holy shit! I went with the braised beef as well. Let's let's see what happens here. This is not gonna be pretty. And it's huge. Again, when I told him I was eating all this, he actually paused and stared at me. You so can't put it away. Oh, the sweetness from the plantain. Again, with the braised beef, nice and tender, lots of flavor. There's tomatoes, cilantro, onions, and the pico de fresco, I think is what it is, and the Venezuelan tartar sauce, all blending in there, so you get a little bit of a tanginess, and of course, the sweetness from the plantain, and the spices from the uh, braised beef. This is off the charts, good. There's a guy out there watching me laughing. <laughs> this is spectacular. There's so much going on here, but it, it all blends really nicely. The plantains really round things off. What an enjoyable experience this was. Again, traditional Latin food, Mexican and Venezuelan food. This is amazing. I almost feel the messier the food, the better it's going to taste. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. You can really tell there's a lot of heart and soul put in this food. Fantastic. So if you couldn't tell from my enthusiasm, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was excellent. If you're looking to grab some traditional Latin food, some Venezuelan or Mexican food, this is a place you need to put on your list to check out. Verano's on Hall Street. Well, anyway, thanks very much for watching. As always, get out and support our local businesses. Cheers. I'll be back.